it costs an awful lot of money for a host city to put on the Super Bowl. In Houston's case, it was nearly $300 million in public funding for a stadium to get the NFL back in town in 2002 after Bud Adams took his Oilers football team to Nashville because Houston didn't want to invest hundreds of millions of dollars into a football stadium in 1995. Houston was given a team after no one in Los Angeles could figure out how to finance a stadium in 1999. Houston voters said yes to a stadium. Houston got a team and eventually a Super Bowl in 2004. This year, local taxpayers' money is going into Super Bowl renovations, including making the stadium Wi-Fi friendly, along with better scoreboards. You want the Super Bowl? You better impress NFL owners if you are a bidding city. And how do you impress NFL owners? build, or renovate your stadium. The NFL uses the Super Bowl as a selling point for a community to build a stadium. The NFL promised the Phoenix area Super Bowls only if someone in the Valley of the Sun built the local owner, the Bidwell Cardinals, a stadium. Glendale did and got Super Bowls. Miami and New Orleans, regulars in the Super Bowl rotation in the Commissioner Pete Rozelle days, had to rebuild stadiums to get Super Bowl games. A look at the venues over the past few years and the next few years shows how the system operates. Detroit, Arlington, Texas, Indianapolis, East Rutherford, New Jersey, Santa Clara, Minneapolis, Atlanta, and Englewood have or will host the big game after taxpayers help fund new stadiums. Miami has the 2020 game with a renovated place. No one knows how much a Super Bowl is really worth, but cities line up and bid for the big game, which actually might be a money loser. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.